please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we thank God for bringing us together as one community of faith, as one church, to be renewed by His Word, by the body and blood of Christ, and by the Spirit poured into our hearts. Today's Gospel shows us that the Kingdom of God is so precious that by comparison, all our accomplishments and even our most prized possessions are worthless. To give up everything else for the Kingdom is true wisdom. 
Today, as we celebrate Filipino Mission Sunday, let us pray for the intentions of the Mission Society of the Philippines and all Filipino missionaries sent all over the world, that they may preach the kingdom of God to every people. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please all be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. The Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream at night. God said, Ask something of me, and I will give it to you. Solomon answered, O Lord my God, you have made me your servant, king to succeed my father David. But I am mere youth, not knowing at all how to act. I serve you in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a people so vast that it cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish right from wrong. For who is able to govern this vast people of yours? The Lord was pleased that Solomon made this request. So God said to him, Because you have asked for this, not for a long life for yourself, nor for riches, nor for the life of your enemies, but for understanding, so that you may know what is right. I do as you requested, I give you a heart so wise and understanding that there has never been anyone like you up to now. And after you, there will come no one to equal you. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I have said, O Lord, that my part is to keep your words. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Let your kindness comfort me according to your promise to your servants. Let your compassion come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. For I love your commands more than gold, however fine. For in all your precepts I go forward, Every false way I hate. Lord, I love your Wonderful are your decrees, therefore I observe them. The revelation of your words sheds light, giving understanding to the simple.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to His purpose. For those He foreknew, He also predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son so that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called. And those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. <laughs> Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field which a person finds and hides again and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, He goes and sells all that he has and buys it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore and sit down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad, they throw away. Thus, it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, yes. And he replied, Then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please remain standing.
all be seated. Reverend Monsignor Rolando de la Cruz, our Cathedral Rector, and celebrating priests, especially the priest of the Mission Society of the Philippines. Dear brother priests, dearly beloved in Christ, Maligayang araw ng misyong Pilipino sa ating lahat. Binabati ko ang mga kapatid natin sa Mission Society of the Philippines, ang mga kaparian at laiko na hindi napapagod sa kanilang paghahatid ng mabuting balita sa iba't ibang dako ng daigdig. Salamat sa inyong mga sakripisyo at paglilingkod. Sa halos na anim na dekada mula nang kayo ay itinatag ng ating mga ubispo noong 1965, hindi kayo nang hinawa sa iniatas na misyon sa inyo na ibahagi ang biyaya ng pananampalataya na ating tinanggap limang daang taon na ang nakararaan. Nang may pasasalamat sa puso, masasabi natin na kayo ang kongkretong handog ng pananampalatayang Pilipino sa mundo. Ngunit huwag nating kalilimutan na hindi lamang ang MSP, ang Mission Society of the Philippines, ang mga misyonerong Pilipino. Lahat ng katolikong Pilipino ay dapat mahikayat na maging misyonero. Ito ang nakikita kong malaking hamon sa ating mga parokya at mga mananampalataya sa panahon natin ngayon. How to make the shift from a maintenance church that is satisfied with the status quo to a missionary church that is responsive to the new realities of our age. In the context of the ongoing synod on synodality, how do we become a missionary synodal church? Let me offer three points for our reflection on this question based on the theme for this year. Go forth, make disciples in synodality. The first point is to go forth. Our gospel today gives us three parables of the kingdom of heaven. At first glance, we can look at it from the human perspective of man's search for the real treasure in life or the finest pearl that is worth investing in. On the other hand, it is also about God's zealous and never-ending desire to give everything to us. He is a passionate treasure hunter who looks for us his finest pearl. He casts the net so wide that he wants every one of us to be in his net of love and mercy. He is always going forth, always going out to seek us. 
God, according to Francis Thompson, is the hound of heaven who never tires of reaching out to us even if we are buried deep in our sins and stubbornly hiding from Him. He is eternally searching and going forth. He is the primordial missionary who does not give up until He catches us and brings us closer to His presence. Mahalagang matutunan ng bawat isa sa atin ang katangiang ito ng Diyos. Huwag tayong mapagod sa pagbubungkal ng lupa upang maitanim at magbunga ang salita ng Diyos. Huwag tayong magkulong sa ating mga kumbento at sakristiya samantalang maraming mga kaluluwa ang nauuhaw sa pag-ibig at liwanag ni Kristo. Ugali nating maghagis ng lambat, may huli man o wala. Ang simbahang misyonero ay mga hasik, mangingisda at mga ngalakal na hindi takot itaya at iwanan ang lahat upang maisakatuparan ang atas na misyon ng kanyang Panginoon. Ngunit magkakaroon lamang siya ng lakas ng loob kung kilala niya at may tiwala siya sa Diyos na nag-aanyaya at nag-uutos sa Kanya. Kaya, bago tayo maging misyonero, malagang maging tapat na alagad muna tayo. The second essential point then is to make disciples. Ipinakita ito ni Solomon sa ating unang pagbasa. Binigyan siya ng pagkakataong hilingin ang anuman. Ngunit pinili niya ang pusong may pangunawa sa kalooban ng Diyos. Magagampanan lamang natin ng maayos ang ating mga tungkulin at gawain kung ang ating puso at pag-iisip ay katulad ng sa Panginoon. In our second reading, St. Paul reminds us, We know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to His purpose. To love God, to be conformed to the image of His Son, this is the fundamental task for every missionary. Without this, we will be creating our programs according to our design. We will go forth according to our terms and preferences. Discipleship is the foundation and the fuel of our mission. Without intimacy with Christ, and configuration to His image, we will not have a seed to sow. We will not have a fine pearl to sell. Bago tayo magmisyon, talungin muna natin ang ating mga sarili. Natagpuan ko na ba ang natatagong yaman ng pag-ibig ng Diyos? Nakita ko na ba ang perlas na, na magpapabago ng aking buhay? Sa ating pagmimisyon, mahalaga ang pagtuturo ng katesismo, pagbibigay ng mga sakramento, at pagbubuo ng mga kristyanong pamayanan. 
Ngunit kung hindi natin kilala si Kristo at kung hindi pa natin na ipagpapalit ang lahat para sa Kanya, hindi rin natin maipapahayag ng mabuti ang Kanyang mensahe ng kaligtasan at pag-asa para sa sangkatauhan. Sa aspetong ito, kailangang magtulungan tayo. Let us help each other to find the hidden treasure that is Jesus, the finest pearl that is Christ. In our journey of missionary discipleship, we must search and walk together. This brings us to the third and last point in synodality. To become a missionary church, we must be a synodal church. Jesus himself sent his disciples in pairs, not alone, not in isolation. He sent them to the lost sheep of Israel and to all nations. It is imperative then for all of us to review our understanding of mission. The Synod on Synodality invites us to move beyond a dualist understanding in which the relationships within the ecclesial community are the domain of communion while mission concerns the momentum ad extra o salabas ng bansa. Magiging tunay lamang tayong misyonero sa labas ng bansa ad extra kung sa loob ad intra ng ating mga parokya at pamayanan ay nabuksan na natin ang kamalayan ng ating buhay at mga gawain ay walang saysay kung hindi ito patungo sa misyon at paglilingkod sa Diyos at kapwa. Minamahal kong mga kapatid sa Mission Society of the Philippines, mahalaga ang papel na gagampanan ninyo sa pagsulong ng Missionary Synodal Church sa ating mga parokya at lokal na simbahan. Kung nais nating yumabong ang misyong Pilipino, pagsikapan nating maging misyonero sa pananaw at pangarap ang ating mga Kristiyanong pamayanan dito sa Pilipinas. Muli, Binabati ko kayong lahat. Happy Phil Mission Sunday. Sabi nga ninyo, ang MSP ay mula sa puso. Maraming salamat po. Amen. Please all stand. I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven, of heaven and earth, earth of, of all things, things visible and, and invisible. invisible. I, I believe, believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, God born of the, the Father before all ages, God from God, God light from light, from light true God from true God. God begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. 
and rose again on the third. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge. the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Apostolic Church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world. Come, Amen. God our Father has given us the gift of faith as a treasure and a pearl of great. Continue to cherish this gift. And share it with the people. Be seduced by the passing joys of power, prestige, and pleasure. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of nations may work for prosperity and progress without forgetting their people and the deepest human values. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that all missionaries around the world may joyfully share their talents and possessions at the service of people, especially the poor, the sick, and the needy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died, especially missionaries, may at last find their pearl of great price in the heavenly kingdom and attain eternal peace with God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our intentions and the intentions of all who ask for our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Most loving Father, hear the prayers of your people. Let your kingdom come to us and open our hearts to our brothers and sisters who hunger and thirst for your word. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all be seated.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, this most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your, might, your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The Mystery of Faith
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. By the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but don't let say the word, the word and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. Oh, 
Please all stand. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all be seated. Isang mapagpalang umaga po sa ating lahat. At maligayang bati po ng Filipino Mission Sunday sa linggong ito dito sa ating katedral. Una po sa lahat, ang aming pong pagparito ay aming pinagpapasalamat. Ako po si Father Hamilton Cruz, kasapi po na pari ng Mission Society of the Philippines. Kasama ko po si Father Eladio Oliver, isa rin po naming pari at sa pong formator sa aming seminaryo. At gayon din po, sa ngalan po ng aming uh, kasapian, ng aming uh, Father Moderator, Father Jonathan Herminanda, ay amin po kayong binabati ng Happy Feel Mission Sunday. Gayun din ng aming pagpapasalamat at pagdulog sa inyong mga puso sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa amin sa Mission Society of the Philippines. Kagaya nga po ng nabanggit ng ating mahal na Kardinal, 1965, noong pong kami ay itinatag bilang pasasalamat natin sa Diyos sa biyaya ng pananampalataya na atin din namang tinanggap mula sa unang misyonero. At mula po noon, taong 1965 na ito, may mga paring unang naging kasapi ng Mission Society of the Philippines hanggang sa ang MSP ay nagkaroon na rin ng sariling seminaryo na siyang humuhubog at sumasanay sa mga paring Pilipino na ipinapadala upang magbahagi ng pananampalatayang Kristiyano. Kaya nga mga kapatid, kagaya ng ating Ibanghelyo sa araw na ito, ang kahalagahan ng kaharian ng Diyos ang siyang pinakamahalaga sa lahat. Kaya bakit ito'y ating kailangang ibahagi at ipangaral sa iba't ibang bansa upang nang sa gayon maranasan ng bawat tao ng bawat nila lang ang kabutihang loob na ito ng Diyos. Kaya nga po simula noong 1965, magpasa hanggang ngayon, ang MSP po ay naglilingkod sa iba't ibang bansa hindi lamang po dito sa Asia, maging sa iba't ibang kontinente sa mundo. Hindi lamang po ito naglilingkod sa iba't ibang lahi o sa iba't ibang kultura, kundi maging sa ating mga kababayang nagtatrabaho rin sa ibang bayan na siyang nagiging kaakibat namin sa gawain ito ng ebanghelisasyon. Kaya nga po sa araw na ito, tatlong bagay po ang aming hinihimok sa inyo. Una na po rito ay ang inyo pong patuloy na pag-aalay ng panalangin at sakripisyo para sa lahat ng Pilipinong misyonero. Ang inyo pong panalangin ang aming nagiging inspirasyon. Ang inyo pong panalangin ang aming nagiging lakas. Ang inyo pong panalangin ay patuloy na nagbibigay sa amin ng tapang upang harapin ang iba't ibang hamong ito ng kinakaharap ng aming mga misyonero sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo. Ikalawang bagay po na aming hinihiling sa inyo ay kung mayroon po kayong mga kabataang lalaki na nagnanais na magpari. Ang aming pong panawagan ay hindi lamang po para sa amin na maging misyonero kundi maging, maging pari na diosisano dito sa atin, sa Arts Diocese. Sabagat ang misyon pong ito ng simbahan ay hindi lamang po misyon para sa ngayon. Ito rin po ay para sa hinaharap. Kaya patuloy po ang ating pagsasanay sa mga kabataang may puso, may nais na maglingkod at magbigay ng kanilang sarili 
sa paglilingkod sa simbahan. Para po sa mga magulang, huwag po sana ninyong pigilan ang inyong mga anak na nagnanais magpari. Isa pong napakahalagang regalo sa Panginoon na ang inyong anak na bunga ng inyong pagmamahalan ang inyong ibabalik na alay sa Diyos. At ikatlo po ang aming idinudulog sa aming pong mission envelopes. Ito po ay isang beses isang taon lamang namin inilalapit sa inyo upang nang sa gayon, ano man po ang inyong ibigay sa araw na ito ay malaking bagay ang maitutulong unang-una sa formasyon ng mga seminarista upang maging mga Pilipinong misyonero sa hinaharap. Ngayon din po sa mga Pilipinong misyonero namin na naglilingkod sa mga bansa kagaya ng Papua New Guinea, ang lugar pong ito ay isa sa mga bansang patuloy na tinutulungan ng ating mga Pilipinong misyonero upang magpasa hanggang ngayon sa kanilang pangangalaga sa ating mga kapatid na Kristiyano. Doon ay maranasan nila at makita ang kahalagahan ng kahariyang ito ng Panginoon na ating tinanggap at ibinabahagi sa bawat isa. Kaya muli po ang aming taus-pusong pasasalamat Una po kay Monsignor Holly sa pagpapaunlak sa amin dito sa Manila Katedral. Gayun din po sa atin pong kabunian, sa atin pong uh, mahal na kardinal, Archbishop Jose Cardinal Advincula. Marami pong salamat. Palakpakan po natin siya. Sapagkat ang aming pong misyon, kagaya po nang ibinigay sa aming mandato, ng ating mga obispo ay patuloy po namin tutuparin sa ngalan ng Katolikong Pilipino. Daladala po namin sa aming misyon ang inspirasyon ng aming kapwa Pilipino sapagkat ang pananampalatayang ito rin ang una nating pinagpapasalamat sa Panginoon sapagkat iminulat niya ang ating kaisipan, ipinaunawa niya sa atin ang kanyang dakilang pag-ibig upang maranasan natin at makibahagi tayo sa kahariyang ito ng buong may kapal. Muli po sa aming pagpapasalamat, MSP po, mula sa puso, maraming salamat po at maligayang bati po ng Filipino Mission Sunday. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.